Oh, here she comes. Sorry, there was another uh, thing inside. What other thing? There was another uh, setup. There was another camera inside, so I was sitting there the entire mm -hmm. time. Well, she kept me waiting 15 minutes, everybody. Okay. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm Al. Nice to I'm meet you. Anne. I'm Ann. Hey, this is Jason, my associate. Okay, right. hi, Jason. Ann Yeager is channel You do eight. the garden stuff, right? I don't. That's Ann Jagger. Oh. Can you spell my name with an E, by the way? I just saw your website. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, are you, uh, are you uh, up for taking your glasses off so we can see your eyeballs, or would you rather not? No, leave them on, please. Okay. Perfect. Do you need a white balance or anything like that? Yeah, I'm going to take another white. Okay. And I'm going to... Is this side correct? Yeah. Water. And Jason might interject now and then. Oh, well. He's my, he's my compatriot. Okay. He's been working with me ever since the beginning. Okay, thanks. Are you a TriMet employee? No. I'm just an enthusiast in. Okay, I was just curious. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. So this is going to be the hardest question of them all. Okay, go right ahead, Miss Andrew. KGW. Um, we're going to get set up here. Oh, I have a question for you first. Are you ready to go? Roll them. I want to know why you're doing the story. Why am I doing the story? Yeah. Who get who brought to your attention? I can't tell you. Well, why not? Why, well, why shouldn't you tell it, me? It's a TriMet passenger. An actual one of my passengers? A TriMet passenger. Now, what about one of my passengers? Well, Sir, can we? Can I get started with my interview? Yes. Yeah. Well, you? I, you know, I think it's relevant. She might not out. know. You know. You know, you know what? So we can talk about it. You know, afterwards and absolutely. That's that's fine with me. I need your first and last name. Al Margulies. Okay, uh, Margulies. Yes. Yeah, I need your spelling on this one. Are you putting this on TV? Now, this one will be put on the. Well, we'll be. Put Not that it's the. Class. Nobody knows it. Okay. The, M A R G U L I E S. M A R G U L I E S. How long have you been a TriMet driver? I'm in my 14th year. Okay. There has been a complaint filed against you that you are blogging on a video camera while you are driving. Are you doing that? No. That stopped when I met with Peggy Hansen approximately a year and a half ago. And she informed me that TriMet policy is that I can no longer videotape or audio tape any passengers and or employees unless I have the express permission. I cannot do it while I'm in revenue service. So you haven't posted anything on your website of you blogging um, while you're driving for how long? While I'm driving? Yeah. I've had people who are filming me, but I don't do it. Okay. Uh, there's been no current videos since that meeting. Okay, okay. Of but me, me operating any video equipment since I had that. What about people videotaping you while you were driving that, and you're answering your questions? That, that could, has occurred that several is, times. Several times? And recently as a matter of fact. And recently as a matter of fact. Yes. The complaint that came forward was that while you were doing this and while you're answering the questions, that you are distracted. Well, ma'am, have you ever... Do you, know, do you ride transit at all? I do. Do you, do you ever notice how uh, you're constantly distracted when you drive transit? Because people are constantly coming up to you, asking you questions. People are constantly causing distractions. Uh, vehicle traffic is causing distractions. Pedestrian traffic is causing distractions. Uh, question, all kinds of distractions at all times. Now, if you looked at the videos closely, what you see me doing is turning my head and looking at that person who is for a second or less than a second, which is exactly what I do when there's a passenger in that particular seat with or without a video. It's exactly the same behavior. And you're welcome to come ride with me anytime you'd like. So you're not distracted when you're driving and you're answering questions? Because I do it all day long. So I don't even think about the camera. The camera is not in my mind. No. So you're, you're not distracted at not, all by this? Not by, no, because that's what I do. That's what we do, man. We answer questions. We answer questions while we're driving. That's what the job is. You answer questions of the public while the bus is, is going. But you do have a you do have a website with your rantings and ravings and things like that. My personal website. Right, your personal website where you do have postings of people with a camera, though. I mean, well, they have the more, camera. They, I know they have the camera. But does it make more of a difference? I can see, like, if you're driving and someone is saying, you know what, I have a funny story to tell you about blankety blank or whatever, but when someone is asking you pointed questions and you're constantly turning back. Constantly? There, I take, well, take exception with that word. Well, you're turning back and forth because of. I turn back and forth all day long, man. Okay, well, I'm just wondering, a camera is rolling. 
do you feel that that makes you more distracted? Absolutely a, not. Why not? Because it's exactly the same thing I do all day, every day. The entire time I'm on a TriMet bus, I am moving my head, talking to people, answering questions, handing out transfers, taking in fares, watching people get on the bus, watching people get off the bus, watching people cut me off all day long. So yes, there is no distraction taking place because what you see me doing in those movies is exactly what I do all day long. Exactly. There is no difference between what you see me doing in those videos and what I do when there's no camera. Why don't you do the videos on your own time instead I, of I while do. you're working? Let me explain why. Because in order to try to capture uh, the real, the reality of TriMet bus driver, or any bus driver, any bus driver, it doesn't have to be a TriMet bus driver, you want to see what they're doing. You want to see real life, you know, real life. If you ever see uh, uh, Taxi Cab Confessions, for example, HBO, where the taxi cab's driving down the road, different passengers. It's kind of the same thing, you know, it's kind of like this little microcosm of the world in a little box called a transit bus. And inside that little box is a whole world of people and ideas that are really misperceived in, in the public. And I was always fascinated by that little microcosm of the world inside that bus. And those people, their lives, what they do, where they're going, that part of, of the transit bus operation is what fascinates me. But a passenger has come forward and said, why is he doing this on company time when he should be more concerned about me as a passenger? And when a passenger has filed a complaint saying just that, I am concerned about all of my passengers. I've never had one of my passengers file that complaint. The complaint that you're getting is from a bunch of bloggers who took exception to my defending the bus drivers in the latest case of bicyclists crushed by TriMet bus, which turned out to be caused by the bicyclists themselves coming off the sidewalk into the lane of traffic and getting themselves almost crushed. So I started blogging on bikeportland.org about that, and it turned into this huge ordeal of bus driver versus bicyclist, which has led to this slew of allegations and complaints, including libelous complaints such as, I am filming asses of women while, while I'm at my job. This is, this is how far this has gone. The people on that blog have gone so far as to libel me about what I'm doing on their bus. So what you're hearing is complaints from people who don't know anything about me or anything about my driving. When you talk on your website, why have the TriMet uniform on? Why not be in your regular clothes? If you say that you wanted to get the sense and the feel of what it's like to be uh, a bus driver and that kind of thing, why can't you do it um, when you're not on duty or why when you're can't on I? a well, bus? Well, then I won't be on duty, and then it will be, I won't be the same it won't be the same aura of, uh, of communication. It's not the, it's, I'm talking to you. Do I feel like I'm a bus driver talking to you right now? No, because I'm not in that environment. You understand? There's different environments and causes different interactions between people. My question, are you a blogger first? No, I... I or I, are you a bus driver I am, first? I, I am me first. And I am a professional transit bus operator and I love blogging, and I blog transit issues, international, national, TriMet, of course, because I live in Portland and I care about transit issues, and, uh, and I, I do all of these things, and they're me, they're me. We were talking over the phone about three specific videos that you say that were recorded. So the sun is changing. Watch, oh. the, watch the, the uh, Make sure the speaker is not going to... It's okay. It's okay. okay. Don't worry. Yeah. So, in 2009, um, that there were three different videos that you said mm -hmm. that were before uh, TriMet's policy. Right. Um, one in which um, you're talking about a disabled woman or a woman who is yes, uh, coming off the lift. Correct. Um, an allegation has been made that you are trashing her, that you are being demeaning to a disabled woman, and you're making fun of her. Well, of course, that's ridiculous. Did you ever say that you saw her later running across the street? Somebody, that was reported to me by another driver. Did you say that? I didn't say it, it was reported to me. But did you say it on your blog? I, I don't remember. Okay. But I, I remember the incident and I remember it was reported to me. And, and generally, my blog is, is kind of an independent news source. And, uh, you know, when there's news that comes through about TriMet, we, we don't have an internal way to get news to each other, bus drivers. We don't have a way to 
I will report what other people report to me. But do you feel that it's inappropriate to show a video of her getting off the lift and talking about, you know, how long it takes to her for her to get off the lift and things like that? Do you think that that's appropriate? I think that it's factual. Do I don't think, think anything's inappropriate if it's based on fact. Do you think that's demeaning to the disabled? I do not think it's demeaning to the disabled. Why not? Because it's that's who I'm factual. <laughs> I mean... Oh, no, not that one. Explain to me... The other Wendy. Explain to me what is it what is going to be like it's factual that it takes a long time for them to... I didn't say that it, it takes as long as it takes for the lift to go up and down. Why did you videotape it? Why? Because it was interesting. Why was it interesting? Because it was an issue at the time. What was the issue at the time? The issue is, do people abuse the wheelchair? That was the issue. 